Hello racing fans, this is NASCAR Racing Fan 2015 back with another NASCAR view. And this one's on the 2018 Hendrick Motorsports paint scheme unveilers. They unveiled their 2018 Camaros last Thursday. And, you know, since it was a slow news week, I mean, Landon Castle's out of a ride. Brendan Poole could be going to the 27. I, I'm going to wait until more is announced about that before I make another video. But I just decided to do the paint scheme because this was a little bit bigger than I expected. And it's certainly interesting. So obviously the first time in a long time, or it's the first time ever, Henry Morris was going to build all four of their Daytona 500 paint schemes at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. And I like this idea of doing a live unveil because, you know, the fans, you know, it, it, gives, it gave them an extra thing to do. You know, probably got the NASCAR Hall of Fame more money. And obviously got people, they you know, they could, got people a chance to, you know, see Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, Dale Earnhardt Jr. up close, and obviously the new guys. And I think it's a great event. I think they should do this every year. More teams might do it. We'll have to see. But I think it's a great idea unveiling all the paint scheme because you know some of them they just do unveil them on the die cast render not as fun this one was kind of cool you know just seeing them live unveiled at the nascar hall of fame and i think it's a good idea to do that so anyways well since hendrick already does this we're going to go in backwards number order so we're going to start out with alex bowman's nationwide chevrolet camaro and this car, I, I think it's great. It, it nice, simple look. Nationwide's been doing this the last couple of years. Just simple. They don't try to overdo it. it. They always really have nice paint schemes. This, I don't know if it's better than the 2017 or 2016 yet. I mean, I like I like the black numbers and the way you know they change it up from Dale and Art Jr. Uh, and I just. I think it looks. I think it looks nice. It looks phenomenal. It will look good in Daytona, and I like here how Alex Bowman's designing his own paint schemes. This is some Dale Earnhardt Jr. did. Now Alex Bowman's going to do, and I think the Nationwide ride looks really good in 2018. This is definitely one of the. Uh, it, it's a good Nationwide paint scheme. I mean. I think it's I think it's awesome. So next up, next up the controversial one. We have Jimmy Johnson's Lowe's for Pros car. And as they were unveiling this car, everyone was so shocked when you know everyone's expecting a blue 48. And it turns out they unveil it and it's an basically all black car. And you know there's like the gray stripes. It has Lowe's for Pros. It has the yellow 48 is back. And a lot of fans were mad about this car because they ditched the blue and, you know, kind of looked generic. In my personal opinion, though, it doesn't really offend me that much. It's basically the Cobalt car as his primary scheme, except, you know, less of a design. They could have done a little bit more. They could have had more gray. They could have had more of a yellow design. But, I mean, keep in mind, this, this could be just the, da the Daytona 500 car. I mean, they said unveil all four of their Daytona 500 paint schemes. This could just be his Daytona 500 car. They might run a regular Lowe's paint scheme for the remainder of the season. We'll have to find out. But I think it's certainly interesting to see Jimmy Johnson run this, this car full time now if it were like an orange car or something like that yeah that would be weird but a black car we've seen jimmy johnson run the cobalt car i'm kind of used to it now it's just it's just going to be for the daytona 500 and probably and maybe the full season so i mean now it's i don't think it's as bad as that 2014 just the all white one I, that was kind of weird seeing that as a primary car I mean, I, I liked it at first, but then it was like, oh, it's kind of generic. So, I mean, I think, I'd say it's better than that one, but it's probably on par with the ones with just the stripes, that one where they went drastically different. But I think it's still a nice car. And then next up, 
we have William Byron's Exalta car, and wow, this one definitely took a turn. Remember back in 2016, whenever, you know, when Jeff Gordon retired and Chase Elliott stepped in, they tried so hard to make sure it wasn't Jeff Gordon. You know, they had the white number, the outline was gone. You know, now there was like seven different colors in the 24. No flames is just is regular paint schemes. All of that is completely forgotten. This car brings back the flames, brings back the yellow 24. And it, and yeah, it's a nice car. I, I, I like it, the blue now on this car. The one complaint is I think that it looks too much like Jeff Gordon. It, I mean, sure, it's just like it's one of the lesser known cars. I mean, you won't think of this car immediately. You'll think of probably the Rainbow Warrior and then his 2007 scheme. But, I mean, it looks almost exactly like Jeff Gordon's driving it. I mean, they could have altered it a, just maybe a little bit. You know, I'd say change the flame pattern a little bit. Change probably, make maybe the yellow was a little bit darker. But I, th I still think it's a nice car. I mean, that's I mean that's kind of a little bit worrisome that, you know, try not to hype up William Byron too much. I mean, I'm going to pull for the guy next year. I really hope he can win some races. I mean, may, may, he could be better than Chase Elliott in that 24. Now the one, and I don't know how many races this car is going to run. Uh, so far, it looks like this car is going to be the unsponsored car next year, which is going to suck. Uh, if we see a Hendrick Motors, HendrickMotors.com 24, that's going to suck. Hopefully, Exalta just steps in for the whole season, and then Liberty sponsors the 12. Because so far, it looks like Mountain Dew isn't going to sponsor him because they have that whole they have that whole area by the 24. They could have put a Mountain Dew or Pepsi logo, but nope, it looks completely blank. And then we also have, well, let's see what else. Universe, we don't know what Universe is going to do yet. Liftmaster, Liftmaster's leaving. And I don't know, there was also, I, Sam Bass shared a design of the 24 with Nationwide on the deck. But Nationwide could be the sponsor. I don't know, but man, William Byron, I hope he can find... Uh, some more sponsorship. Hope, hope, like I said, hopefully Pepsi can step up. Maybe something like that. I mean, it's kind of sad to see him unsponsored at the moment. And now the last car, the number nine of Chase Elliott, finally out of the 24. Now the pressure is off, and now he's going to get to run this awesome Napa Auto Parts Camaro in 2018. And the car takes a drastic change from his first two years. You know, it had the traditional Napa colors, the blue, the yellow. It had those, like, guitar stripes. It has completely ditched on this car. Now, you know, there's blue, and there's a lot of white on this car. This is kind of like what they did with Ryan Newman's Caterpillar car. It's a majority white, and, you know, there's a lot of yellow. The nine's obviously in blue. And... I think this car, it, it's, it's a nice retro look. I'll say that much. I think that it's, it reminds me of something that Bill Elliott would drive back in the day. It just has that retro look. It's a clean paint scheme. I think it's going, I think it's going to look great in, in Daytona. And yeah, we're going to see, I wonder what's going, what they're going to do with like the Sun Energy 1 car. If they're going to change that one up too much see what else we have the Hooters car I think that I expect that one will stay the same maybe the they might change the number or they might change the color of the number nine it might be like a brownish and then you know what else, what else is it? the Kelly Blue Book car it, you know it'll, I think it'll probably look similar and then obviously the Mountain Dew schemes on Alex Bowman and Chase Elliott those will be interesting to look at. So, anyways, I really like the paint schemes. Favorite is probably William Byron's car. That one looks awesome. And then probably tie between Chase El or yeah Chase Elliott and Alex Bowman. And then Jimmy Johnson's. Even though I don't think his is terrible, 
it's definitely like the lesser of the four. And hopefully, I'm hoping Hendrick does good next year. I heard that Camaro, you know, it could it it could be the answer to why Chevy is struggling so much because you know now they have kind of the pointed front or they have the pointed nose, which I think that's how Toyota gained that big advantage. And Chevy possibly with the Camaro could. We could see a Toyota and Chevy battle the whole season, and I mean, I I think that might happen. I think we might see. I, I'm I'm predicting so far. I think we're going to see Toyota dominate the first half, and then Chevy is going to kind of come on, but they could possibly come on in the summer. And I really think the Fords are just going to be there. We're going to see them win like three races in the beginning of the season. I think I think Ford's going to struggle next year because the Ford Fusion, I mean, now teams have more knowledge and just running that car now. I think if they're if they really want to try for something different, they'd have to change up the Ford Fusion to get it more pointier, to get better downforce on the car. I mean, now. I really think I think Ford's at a big disadvantage, especially now with Chevy ch making making this change. I mean, right now in the current playoff picture, we only have one Ford advancing in the round of eight. Meanwhile, currently we have three we have three Toyotas and four Chevys. So I I don't know. I mean, Ford might have to step up their game. I mean, this is. This is making the Stuart Haas move look terrible because, I mean, in the long run, they probably could have had a better shot with Chevy unless they changed the car. But I think they're going to keep the Ford Fusion, you know, because, look, just that, that's the car they want to market. So, anyways, I think the paint scheme unveil is great. I think the Henry Motorsports cars are great. And I can't wait to go to Daytona in February. So that's the end of the video, guys. So if you like this video, give it a like. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe for more videos. This is NASCAR Racing Fan 2015 signing out.